there welcome into sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here welcome into your reading capricorn i hope that you're doing well we're gonna take a look at some messages these are general tarot card messages so all of the messages may not apply to all of you so take what applies and the rest let it fly while you are here remember that you too are a very valid important and true part of my reading so go ahead and focus your intention so let us get some profound, beautiful, and accurate messages out for you, Capricorn. Okay. Some of you could be affiliated with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Romantic relationship, possibly a twin flame moving toward you. Oh, this, uh, I see celebration, marriage, possibly. I see work energy. It could be you that are, that is, um, oh my God. It could be you, Capricorn, that is embodying a strong work presence in the emperor. We have the emperor and the empress. So I feel you could be aligning with your soulmates. But I'm getting a bit of an off feeling because we do have the three of swords on the bottom of the deck. Maybe the two of you could be in separation right now and that could be because of an argument or just separation in uh when it comes to um unite melding or gelling or intertwining energetically corresponding it just feels like you're separated that's maybe that's why someone is feeling sad and i feel like it's okay because uh, like the person knows how to take a deep breath because there's a greater understanding about the situation here. So someone may be missing another person. We have you. I feel like you're putting, you're happy, you're manifesting, you're creating, you're working, you're being successful here. Wheel of Fortune energy, money coming into you. You know, you could have, um, I feel like you're coming into something fortunate when it comes to your work. As if you keep going on ahead in whatever you're doing and then you're you're coming up on something fortunate with the Wheel of Fortune energy here. So let us see what that is for you. So let's see what the Wheel of Fortune energy is. What's coming up in your, for Capricorn in work and business? I feel like you're having fun. What is the Wheel of Fortune energy? A blessing of... Something that is literally making you so happy. Really happy. Look. I can feel your eyes opening wide. The seven again. You're manifesting some things. It could be work the way you're standing up for yourself. Finding love from a higher place. It could be something that makes you feel good about you. Possibly a, a promotion with the two sevens here. At work let's see what time frame this will arrive in for you Capricorn okay what time frame will this wheel of fortune arrive in hmm. I feel like just keep going just you keep burning up keep focusing on you because you are in the night of Pentacles energy you're moving you're working you're creative I mean you're operating well you're taking things steady uh, and so sometimes you feel like things weren't manifesting for you but you kept giving your best shot you know i feel like you know how to tap into your masculine energy your feminine energy knowing when to be bossy or when to boss up and knowing when to receive knowing when to give and knowing when to receive especially dealing if you're if you're dealing with people in your business here you know knowing when to relent and when to be direct and there's something that you're reflecting on in your past energy. It could be, I feel like in life, your life in general, you're just looking maybe a bird's eye view, a higher perspective over things that occurred in your past life. It's not making you unhappy, but some overall, but sometimes it does affect your, your emotions, you know? Yeah, I feel it could be regrets as well. So the Wheel of Fortune energy, how soon will Capricorn come up on this energy? The nine, it's going to make you so happy. That's the nine of cups repeated. It could be, it's so It's so nice. I like the energy. It's. It feels like, it feels like, uh, let me tell you, it feels like playing a video game. And you keep going, following the path, collecting the little trinkets along the way. 
and then you just happen upon that door but it's not a video game where there's a lot of anxiety or rush it's so easy it's just one of those simple video games where you're walking through a meadow picking apples it's like that easy and that's how easy you will come up on this success this prosperity so just take it easy in in in, in empress mode that's what i'm feeling for you you're just walking smelling the roses learning as you go learning about life that's the kind of game you're in right now in this environment and as you go just i feel you're you're being you're coming up on something you may be coming up on a treasure chest that's the energy you know coming up on i feel like you'll be coming up on a person that stops you and says wait a minute and they are going to check you out and you're going to say yes because you're already happy you are already feeling good about yourself could be very soon they could be very soon nine weeks possibly nine weeks time okay all right so i'm getting twin flame i'm getting soulmate energy a soul connection something that is meant for you in in this business connection okay so these are your messages capricorn for what's coming up for you thank you so much for coming through and i'll see you in the next one remember that you can be to have everything and anything in this world you desire because you are all and all is within you much love take care Recording these are your tarot messages for the next seven days ahead. I feel you're working to become stable and um, even emotionally, you want to be grounded. I feel you want to cry. They're trying to hold it together, but why? Why don't you have um, the, su the support? Maybe you feel like you don't have the support to cry. There's, maybe you feel like there's nothing really a family around you that you can trust to cry with the five of wands energy to let your guard down as if you feel like if you should ever take your armor off you will be all of your vulnerability will be attacked or judged or it's going to just be left out in the open to be used against you that's how you feel there's a call for you to find that balance that stability within yourself to value you to love on you to give to yourself Okay, to give value unto yourself and to serve others. Some of you are serving others that were, it was a bit of conflicting energy with what you're dealing with. But the energy is telling me to tell you to find balance within yourself. It is how you serve, it is how you give value that determines how another person responds to you. Okay? And you should find the value within you and know your value, know what service, know what you give, know what you bring. Um, know how lovely you are so that when you're working with others you stand out you give clearly and I feel like you're giving beautiful service here but whatever is affecting the, your ability to serve well it, it has to do with your emotions it has to do with your healing your well-being how you feel about yourself how you feel if you're good enough if you're worthwhile if, if you're worthy if you can do this if you're capable you need to reinforce these beliefs within you Capricorn in order to be really successful at this and I see that you have a strong possibility of being successful in whatever your endeavor is even to express yourself to really express you I feel like you realize this you need to get to know who you are you're turning to your spirituality for guidance for healing for answers for clarity you're meditating okay Okay, and then we have the Queen of Cups energy. So that could be you being grounded, being stable in your emotions, knowing who you are, becoming self-aware, being intuitive, knowing how to cater to the needs of others. The Queen of Cups is one that is motherly, attentive. She pays attention to details. She feels things. She knows things and she expresses that. You could be a mother, some of you, single parents or single parenting. Um or not you could be married for some people i feel like you're balancing work and home life right now maybe you're working from home for some people okay and you're learning how to really gather your emotions together so that you can serve well without having the disruption of whatever is going on in your personal life per se 
to affect your your whatever your service um i feel like you do hope to to step into this place of well-being emotionally i feel like you're ready to manifest beautiful things for yourself and now we have fire energy so the queen of cups energy concern is cancer pisces or scorpio so you could have a person like that in your life there could also be a fire sign in your life aries leo sagittarius now this person could maybe cause you some drama some self-doubt or lack of just having to be defensive you see how these people are fighting it's as if this constant battle and defense with this with this with this situation it could be at work or it could be uh we'll see what there that is it could be at work maybe you're learning how to stand up for yourself no i feel you are standing up for yourself you know that you have the upper hand in the situation I feel like this could also be on a mental plane where you're dealing with thought patterns, behavioral patterns, habits that you have to be strong in and you're letting your courage lead the way and not your fears are not what other people say. You know that you determine the outcome of your life and that is what the Six of Pentacles energy is about, knowing your value, your core value, knowing who you are, knowing what you're offering, knowing that the words that you're speaking is aligning with the truth of who you are and so when you give, you do give your best, all right? Know who you are. Know what you deserve. Stand up for you. The King of Cups energy coming out here. You could be dealing with something that is destined for you. Soulmate energy. Something that is divined, divinely planned out for you here. I do feel like someone coming into your situation. Water sign. Cancer Pisces. Scorpio. They, it's like this person is overlooking the situation from a higher perspective or this person has an, an an outside view of what is going on an outside perspective this could be your energy once you tap into your queen of cups energy here um for you to see how to best maneuver through any difficulty is truly really tap into your higher nature your higher emotional balance because i do feel like this has to do with emotions we have the seven of cups so i feel for you capricorn that this is your home energy there's a lot going on a lot of different energies in your home but i do feel like you're you're okay you're not you do feel a bit sad about something that's going on at home and then your hopes and fears is that you're imagining someone not being where they like someone going to do something that they said they wouldn't have to they wouldn't have done like a commitment broken and your hopes is to really tap into your true self to to know who you are to connect to your spirits your ancestors that's the energy with the queen of cups energy i feel like this is what you're seeking for here your financial stability you're asking for guidance from your angels your spirits guides all right and it's the answers are coming in through for you you will be happy overall that's how i feel let's just see what the result is for you piscean energy so that's intuition again all of this is about intuition i feel knowing what when to walk away from a situation it could have to do with money it could have to do with work a relationship a codependency in relationships knowing when to stand up and walk away and it's all about knowing when to stand up and walking away from any situation that's not serving you and keeps you in a low vibration fighting all the time in conflict you're about to use your intuition because you're getting the wisdom you need the clarity you need to make a decision to move forward okay so i feel that's how i'm feeling for you any last messages for capricorn let us um any last messages? What is the Five of Wands energy? <laughs> oh my god, it's just Three of Swords. What is the Three of Swords? The Three of Swords is disappointment, sadness, broken heart, depression. So the Six of Pentacles coming out again. And there is going to be healing and well-being for you in this situation. But you do feel sad. What what do, what does Capricorn feel sad about? Oh my gosh. So many things so many different things could be money can have to do with love relationships family relationships your family new beginnings movements you're thinking about a lot 
But I want to tell you that you are to start remembering. Oh my God, listen, <clears throat> listen. This message is probably going to be low because the microphone was not plugged in all along and I was all the way over that side. Ay, ay, ay. So please do use an, an, an earphone. The message is, there is, oh, a father. Oh my God. I feel like your father loves you so much. Just remember that. There is, oh my God. Mm -mm. oh yes there's a need for you to feel this feeling of being loved by a man that is your father whether you're male or female this innate love and, and, and at first it wasn't a father like a biological father at first literally when the three of diamonds came out this was remember you're a child of God that's what I was going to say to you and the three of diamonds came out which is my effing Christ Jesus Christ, sun energy. The three of diamonds is my sun energy. And so I'm saying, remember that you are a child of God and that you are loved. And that's the energy that you need to tap into, this energy of knowing that you are loved, knowing where you came from, knowing that you have guidance on your side that loves the, every ounce, every part of you. Every everything you are, you cannot be wrong in this person's eyes. In the light of the sun, this is my sun energy. It's just a call for you to become aware of this innate love that is in you, that no one can give to you and no one can take away from you. And I'm leaving your messages here, Capricorn. Much love to you. Remember that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you're all and all is within you. Much love. Take care.